Well, it's my privilege to uh, start out, kick off, and welcome all of you to the second Advocacy in Motion Public Policy Community Forum, sponsored by the Western Reserve Area Agency on Aging. My name is Doug Beach, and I'm the CEO of the Western Reserve. Because in the Federal Older Americans Act, it states that we shall serve as the public advocate for those we serve. Uh, Sarah Lothra, we talked about earlier, uh, member of leadership, uh, a daughter of the former congressman, uh, and clearly just a hardworking young woman and a sharp young woman. She's been great with uh, Doug and the folks here uh, at West Reserve uh, as a go-to legislator and leadership. Uh, the Lieutenant Governor, John Husted, uh, Government Innovation and Technology. You've heard a lot about blockchain technology up here in Cleveland. John Husted is a big blockchain technology guy. Uh, obviously, uh, issue one and the opiate epidemic will continue to be a priority of the administration. Um, I think because uh, Medicaid expansion was such an issue in the campaign, pre-existing illnesses, obviously the, it will be a priority to deal with um, and, and focus on. Um, it, it is good news that both legislative leaders as well as the new governor is talking about revisiting local government funding. Um, so uh, that's good news. I mean, that is, that is just stunning for a midterm election. What drove the midterms? Um, definitely health and aging issues, uh, including uh, preserving the Affordable Care Act. That was a big one. And um, de both Democrats and Republicans campaigned on uh, protecting folks who have pre-existing conditions. Rest assured, um, funding particularly for um, home and community-based services went up. Um, the Title III B program with the Older Americans Act. Title III C, the um, Congregate and Home Delivered Meals programs, went up um, between FI 17 and FI 18, uh, $59 million total, and then another $10 million between 18 and 19. 